guys welcome back to my channel and thank you for joining me today so to start off today's card i'm going to use my jane davenport color sticks i'm just going to choose three colors i want i'm going to go with this pack here i want the orange the pink and the deeper orange okay, so i've chosen my three color sticks these are just like the gelatos work exactly the same the wax crayon that you use in the same way so i'm just going to bring in my messy mat i'm just going to start by putting some color down And then finally I'm going to use the orange, it's sort of a ready orangey colour this one. Okay so to move the colour on the cardstock I'm just going to spritz it a little bit and I'm just going to use my finger and I'm just going to use my finger like that and just move the colour across the card. Gonna spritz it a little bit more. Trying to blend the colours together. And I've got a stencil, I've actually got two stencils that I'm working with today. The one that I'm going to use here is this floral one and I'm just going to put my stencil down on top of my card and I'm going to use my baby wipe and I'm going to lift some of the colour using my baby wipe just like that. I'm not bothered about the surrounding area because I'm going to die cut this piece of card and as you can see it just lifts the colour so when I take off my stencil we've got the pattern there off the stencil so that's just one way that you can use your gelatos there's lots of ways you can use with them I love playing around with these and I haven't had them out for absolutely ages so I'm just going to dry off my card <sighs> So moving on, before I go any further, I've chosen this die. So I'm just going to run this through my die cutting machine. I'm going to bring in my Nouveau uh, embellishment mousse. This one is called Tuscan Gold. I'm just going to put a little bit on my finger. Just a little bit and I'm just going to go round the edge. <laughs> Gansai Tambi Starry Colours, the gold palette. I'm just going to wet one of these golds. So I'm just going to use the paint and I'm just going to put some gold splatters. So I'm just going to move that piece to one side for the moment and I've got another piece of white card and I've got another stencil here and I'm just going to put some stenciling onto my background. I'm going to use my picked raspberry distress oxiding. <laughs>
so that's my piece stenciled and I'm going to stick this piece down onto the piece that we've stenciled so I'm just going to use some double-sided tape to stick it down And I'm going to bring back in my gold mousse and I'm just going to edge around this card as well. six card base I'm going to stick this piece down on so I've been in my little folder with all my die cuts in. I've chosen just a few die cuts that I'm just going to embellish the front of my card a little bit. I'm going to use some foam pads. pretty quick sentiments quotes and verses and I'm just going to go with this wishing you a bright and happy day I'm just going to use my stamping platform I'm going to use my Versafine black ink and I'm going to go over it with some clear embossing powder I'm just going to use my scissors and just create a little banner each end of my sentiment. So I'm just going to use my gold mousse again just to edge around the edge of my sentiment. my sentiment just there okay so to finish off my card I've got my two nouveau drops I've got ripened pumpkin and rhubarb crumble and I'm just going to embellish the front of my card
that's my card finish for today as always thank you so much for stopping by to watch i'll leave all my details in the description if you're not already a subscriber please come along and join me also don't forget to press that little bell which will notify you of any new uploads of mine so until my next video guys take care bye <laughs>